Good day folks, today we're going to take out the Mavic Air 2 and we're going to do some testing with return to home. We're also going to test out the precision landing accuracy. If you recall when I tested the Mavic Mini back in the fall, the accuracy of it wasn't bad but it was always a few feet off from where it took off. In some instances it was about 20 feet off. For the most part as long as it comes back to the general location you're okay. However there are those times where you do want really good accuracy, especially if you do have a lot of obstacles around you. If you happen to get disconnected you want to make sure it comes back to where it needs to be. So we're just going to head out, do a few tests, so let's just go ahead and take a look. Good day folks, today we're just going to do a quick return to home test and we're going to test out precision landing. Most DJI drones do a pretty good job and uh, we're just going to see how accurate the Mavic Air 2 is. Now return to home isn't something that I use a lot but it does come in handy from time to time. Especially when you get disconnected you want to know that the aircraft is going to reliably come home. Especially when you're in situations like this, I got some trees over there. There's a building over here. So you just want to make sure it comes back to the approximate area within a couple feet anyways. I'm going to do a couple tests here. I'm just going to send it up, maybe send it out 100 feet and uh, see how it comes back. So let's uh, go ahead and we'll take off here. So I'm just going to send the drone out. And I have it set to 60 meters. In the settings, you can actually set the return to home height. And it's a good idea to make sure you have it set higher than the highest obstacle that is around you. For example, if you have trees that are 40 meters tall, make sure you set it taller than that, just to be safe. So I'm about 100 meters out there, and I'm gonna initiate the return to home. Now there's a couple of different ways you can do it. You can do it on the return to home button right on the controller there, or you can press the return to home on the screen. So let's use the one on the controller. We'll press and Go hold. Home. It'll start to beep, and you can see there that's turned around. And it's now heading back. Any given time throughout this, you can cancel it by pressing that X on the screen, or you can move the joysticks if you have to maneuver it. So it's actually raising now. 68 meters it's gone to, and here it comes here, and it's starting to descend. Landing. So if you can see it up there. It just corrected itself. It was over a few feet, but now it's right almost above the landing pad. And it's coming down. And it's off by a few inches, but actually not even really. There we go. You can see there it landed right on the pad, so that was perfect. So pretty impressive. So let's do another quick test here. We'll send it out again and uh, we'll see what happens. So we'll take off and we will send it out again, about a hundred meters. I'm 125 meters out, I'm 33 meters high. So this time let's use the button on the screen. We'll press it, it'll ask us to return to home and it gives us the option, do we want to return to home or to land? Press and hold it. Go home. So here it comes here now again. So it's going to raise to that 68 meters first. Here it comes. It's almost here. Pretty well right above us now. Landing. So now it's landing, it's spinning around. And again, at this point, we could take control of it by moving the sticks or hitting the cancel return to home. And I wondered like last time it was off by a few feet, but about 20 feet up, it corrected itself. So we'll see if it does that again. Or maybe I'll turn the camera down so you can see what's going on. Yeah, it actually did that again. It was just off by a couple feet, and once it's about 20 feet, then it uh, corrected itself. 
So as you can see there, it landed right on the pad again. So precision landing on the Mavic Air 2 is perfect. So as you can see, the Mavic Air 2 is very accurate with its precision landing. In the two tests that I ran in this video, it came back within inches of where it took off. And since I've recorded that video, I've used the return to home quite a bit and it's been accurate every single time. So that's very impressive and very good to know if precision landing is very important to you. Well, folks, that's basically it for my video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and got some value out of it. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next one.